Today's video is sponsored by Aura Frames. Recommended by 130 plus gift guides and selected as one of Oprah's favorite things, three years running, Aura is Wirecutter's number one pick in digital picture frames. Aura Frames have been recommended by the New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, Forbes Magazine, and many high-end home decor publications. Aura Frames is literally the perfect gift for Mother's Day, especially because it comes in such beautiful packaging with the box that it already is mailed to you in that you don't have to even worry about wrapping it, putting it in any kind of packaging that's special for the day because it's already got a very sleek, nice design to it. But they do tend to sell out. They sold out for both Christmas and Valentine's Day. So definitely make sure that you are keeping an eye on it and snatching it up as quickly as possible if you are wanting to get this for Mother's Day. It takes about two minutes to set up with the app. And then once you turn on the frame, all of your uploaded pictures will be displayed. You can upload 10,000 plus photos and videos and even invite as many people as you'd like to contribute to one single frame. There is no hidden fees or a subscription for it. My absolute favorite thing is that you can add photos and videos from anywhere using the app. You just choose your photos and they'll appear on your frame like magic. There is no memory card required at all, and the app is available on iOS and Android as well. So you guys can use code Olivia to get $40 off of select frames while supplies last, and emphasis on supplies last because they do tend, like I said, to sell out really quickly when it comes to gift giving on holidays. Mother's Day is definitely one of those, but it is a really good option if you want to give your mom something that, you know, is memorable and it holds literally a bunch of memories, 10,000 of them and more to be exact. So thank you once again to Aura Frames for sponsoring today's video. Oh, hello. How you doing? It's a new weekly reading vlog. Um, let me move this just a little bit because I'm not loving how that's set up. But I got two books for you and we're gonna go see a movie in a minute. So I'm gonna leave you soon. But the two books I'm reading, one of them is the Patreon book club pick. And I finally found a style of annotation that I like because I never want to write in the books just in case on the off chance I ever want to unhaul them. I don't want to give someone um, a book that's written in, but I found these clear ones where I can just write right on top of the words. It doesn't even matter. So um, I'm now going to start doing a flip through style video because I'm literally just writing down every single thought that I have. I'm writing it down. And also like <laughs> every time I think I know who did it, I'm like motive and I'm having to draw in the sparkle emojis, but whatever. So this is the siren. This is about a movie being filmed right now on an island. So we have essentially who I'm picturing. Well, I was picturing as Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie because they're divorced and super hot. So I was like, well, pff, that's them. But then they described the dude a little bit better. And I was like, oh, that's Jared Leto. <laughs> Never mind. And now I can't unsee it, which considering my obsession with the idea of Morbius, not the actual movie. Don't worry. I'm still kind of sane. But the idea of the character, what could have been, what should have been. Pizza pata, my heart goes. Pizza pata. This book, back to it. I am really liking it a lot because it is about, like I said, Hollywood filming movie. And it stars three women who all seemingly have a connection to the one dude. So Cole Power is this like super mega star, kind of like Brad Pitt, which is why I pictured him honestly, but he's a little like, like Jared Leto. So, you know, don't really know which way to go. And if I morphed them, that'd be a terrifying human. So no, thank you. I might, I might go with Brad Pitt with the long hair from The Lost City. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Hilarious. Good times all around. Sandra Bullock is a lovely human being that I adore and Chang Tain was there. They're on this island filming this and I don't think I've gotten to the part where there's a hurricane yet, but they are, well, I think I'd know. But it's about 100 pages in and there haven't been a hurricane, but they are setting a bunch of backstory for how each of these people are connected to him. So one of them is the assistant producer. Uh, the other one is his ex-wife, obviously. And then another one has like a secret connection that I don't really want to go into because I feel like it could be a little bit of a spoiler. Like it's really fun to discover that. I was like, tea. But I just love 
this writing style. I don't know how to describe it, but like, I just feel if Carrington, is it Harrington? Did I just make that up? Carrington from, you know, Dynasty. If she were to be an author, this is how she would write. Like, this is just, I just, I love rich people drama books when the rich part of it is described in such like an elegant, low key way, not in just like dropping the like Versace, 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 like everywhere just name dropping that. Like, I don't care about that. Show me your money, okay? I can buy fake Versace off Facebook Marketplace too. Show me your money. And this is showing you money <laughs> and also money problems, which is another motive that I think is going on. But I'm really enjoying this. Like I said, 98 pages in, actually I'm on page 99. So I don't know what you heard about me, but I'm back on it. Uh, and then next up, oh, I can't even tell you this because it's in another vlog. Never mind. That's the book I'm reading. And you know what? Don't ask me two questions about it because there's only one book. I don't want to talk about There wasn't a second book. <laughs> oh, but I am still reading the cozy mystery, the masquerade, mystery masquerade, whatever this is, the cozy mystery that I was reading that is, um, I mean, it's super cute, but it's male, male. This guy owns a mystery slash thriller, thriller, okay, thriller themed bookstore that he inherited, fixing up a home that he also inherited from the same person who gave him the bookstore. Did I say bookstore twice? Home in a bookstore, that's what he's got. He's doing it. Okay, great. And he's falling um, in love with the chief of police. And it's so cute. And I love it a lot. So that's what we're doing there. Um, but we are about to... Um, sorry, Mel just sent me a text about AO3. <laughs> she said, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. The funny thing is I've already placed a uh, request to be added to the website. So don't tell her, guys. Let's see how long it takes to figure it out. Just kidding. I'm literally going to tell her in a second. Anyways, um, let's talk about Wattpad. So it is Monday and tomorrow I have to do a bunch of like, you know, editing and stuff like that, which is, oh my God, what am I doing? Which is fine. Um, I actually am starting to like editing now that I've gotten it down to a T, like how I like to do it. But um, in case you're wondering where my life is at, I'm gonna show you this and you're not gonna say anything and I'm not gonna say anything. And that's just how it's gonna be. And if you know, you know, and if you don't know, you don't need to know, okay? that's. Okay? okay? Okay. Uh, Mel and I are gonna start buddy reading a Bucky fanfic. <laughs> and the last Mafia romance that I read kinda let me down. So I'm thinking that this, like, you know, it's gonna make up for it. But this is where I'm at. Um, if you were wondering, yep, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew it was bad because, wow, you can just write a story like on here that's kind of crazy wouldn't you make a lot of grammar mistakes anyways it doesn't matter so i uh added an icon in the background and now it's like real that i have this account <sighs> whatever it's not my face so don't go looking for me you won't find me but we are gonna buddy read it on wednesday and i'm very excited to start it yes i am i'm trying to read all the popular ones because i was like i haven't been on here since literally 2014 so i was like I got a lot of homework to do and I was reading some of them and I'm just like, this isn't doing it for me. So that's why I signed up for AO3. Anyways, um, have you seen the new Thor trailer though? Girl, <sighs> girl. Okay, for real anyways though, I'm going to, well, it's 4.30 and we leave at five. So I'm gonna sit for 30 minutes and watch TikToks and look up more fan fiction. <laughs> And then I am, we're gonna go see Uncharted. So I'm very excited for that. I've been wanting to see it, but just kept putting it off. So we're gonna go see that today. And then Friday with my mom, I'm gonna go see the new Nick Cage movie, which put that man in a movie and I don't care, I'll go see it. Pedro Pascal's in there too. It's great, it's great, it's great. We're having a great time. Are you? Cause I am. Yeah, for the rest of the night, like when we get back, I'll just be picking this up again reading it i gotta do some planner stuff um i just gotta film my plan with me's for the week and put that up on patreon but other than that that's kind of just what i'm gonna be doing today so yeah how's your monday how's your monday going it's good i'm proud of you um what are you reading why is it not bucky fanfic okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go let me not let me not push my agenda okay life is a winding road no telling where it goes 
Driving through days and nights. Hello vlog. How are you doing? I'm doing hungry. <laughs> and I don't really know what I want to eat. Um you know, I don't know. Do I want a salad? They're building a salad place near us, which is like a drive through salad place. I've seen it up closer to like Fort Worth and Dallas and stuff, but I was like, what's that? I kind of want to try that. So maybe I'll try that. It's not built yet though, so <laughs> that doesn't help me today. But you know what sounds really good? Mac and cheese. And you know who I'm thinking of? I know you know. Panera. But I have to take care of some tax things because ugh, I'm an adult and that sucks. Uh, so I gotta do that first. I have a meeting in two hours, which I am just so highly anticipating. But you know what? I probably should eat at a normal time for once because I keep not doing that, like normal lunch times. So let me go do that uh, for once. Let's see how that works out. Bet it's gonna blow my mind. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back and just do some editing. I think I might film setting up those shelves that I mentioned last week's vlog, because honestly, why not at this point? Worst case, I'll film it and then set it aside. If y'all don't ever wanna see it, it won't see the light of day. Best case, we got a video ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I have not read anything to uh, update you on, sorry enough, but I did get a audiobook in from my library and I'm thinking about reading that. So I have Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This is the same author that wrote Carval, one of my favorite YA series. I love it to the moon and back. And I've been wanting to read this one. And I feel like the audiobook is gonna be a nice way to go with it. So I think I might pick it up. I also have One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich, which is a cozy. And then I have Sleeping Giants because I'm easily influenced by Katie. We all know. And I have such a quiet place checked out, but that is for Spring Flingoween. So yes, I'm trying to have all my Spring Flingoween books in audio form from my library as well as physical so that I have options, options, because I'm reading Witchlings, uh, Such a Quiet Place, and Reckless Girls. I'm gonna try to read three books in four days. I think I can do that because they're thrillers and a middle grade. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be too big, but I am daily vlogging. I don't know, but this will be the vlog that you'll see it in. So, we, well, this week. So you see this vlog on Tuesday. Hello, Tuesday friends. How you doing? And then on Friday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday? No, Thursday. What? Hello? The 30th, right? No, the 27th. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm fine. Math is easy. Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Oh my God. Well, I guess I'll just freaking see you guys on Thursday then, won't I? Because that's, that'll be day one daily vlog. All right, this is why I miss doing weekly vlogs, not weekly vlogs. I miss doing weekly readathons because I love daily vlogging, but I could just, I don't think I could do it for a month. Like Vlogmas, I don't even do it for a month. This year, maybe though, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But um, I'm gonna go get food now and uh, edit, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you after I've read something. I should do that. That'd be a good plan, don't you think? I, I freaking do. Hello, uh, ignore the fact that I have an ASMR room on and ignore the fact that I'm holding you up on a huge tripod. Um, I have to, I don't have to, but it helps her. Um, no, Jacob, not your time. I'm giving Annabeth a bath, which isn't really a bath because you don't do soap with tortoises. You just let them soak and it helps their digestive system and helps them go to the bathroom so I figured it's really cute she really likes the water um, and I just leave her in there for like well supervised I don't just like eat her in there I'm like good luck uh, no I watch supervision I am a parent at all times uh, but I thought I'd show you because it's really adorable so I'm just gonna do that now I hope you can hear me with the wind it's I think it might storm, which then it's like, why am I giving you a bath? You're gonna get muddy. Cause she loves, when it storms, she loves to just run right back into her cage, right in the mud. That's a really big flying insect. Oh Lord Jesus. <gasps> all right, all right. We're just gonna take a gander out here. See what's going on out here where there's no wasp that I can see. All right, well this went from fun to not so fun really fast. You make me nervous I think I might be hooked on you I love the things you said, you said to me To me it seems 
Okay, hi. So we're back inside from that. She was not having it today, which, listen, <laughs> am I the expert on tortoises? No, um, I'm certainly not. But I have a theory that when it's getting like, I'm kind of cold now. It's a little, little windy out there. Um, I have a theory that when it's a little stormy outside and it's not stormy but it's definitely windy and it's doing all the things that it does before it's supposed to rain and i looked at the weather like i i checked the weather literally way too much um but when i looked at the uh weather it wasn't supposed to rain today so to me i'm like I don't know what's going on with her, but I, I have a theory that she just gets like antsy whenever it's storming and I reactivated my Facebook account. Literally no friends, not doing anything like that on there, but I did it so I could join a bunch of tortoise groups so I could just get more advice on like best practices and what I could do for her and stuff. And they all said to soak, even if they don't like it, just cut the soak time short, but soak like 20 minutes two or three times a week, but when they're grown, you can soak less, I guess. And then that's like kind of it other than dietary things. But apparently a lot of tortoises are like not with it. So I do have a bowl in there. I just bought this like really shallow bowl that is supposed to be for a planter, like to catch, you know, drainage. But I bought it, <sighs> Ginger. I was out there for 10 minutes and she's screaming because she's not getting attention. Ginger. I'm right here. Sometimes she won't remember that I came inside, so she'll just scream at the back door. I mean, same, but come on. But I have that in there so she can soak any time that she wants to, and she does that a lot. But you know, you wanna make sure just for evacuating the bowels and all of that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, that was just a little bit, but she was like trying to get out of there. So I'm like, let me not stress you out with this. But I saw, listen, apparently I felt really bad because I was like, oh my God, am I like ruining her life <laughs> by trying to help her go to the bathroom and bathe her? And I posted that in the group and they're like, no, a lot of tortoises are just not, if they're not used to it, they won't like roll with that. And the first time she was really into it, but I think it's because she had just woken up from brumation and so she was like needing to go to the bathroom but now she's she's not with it she is looking at me like you gonna put me in that tub because i'm gonna put this claw in your face um but okay so we did that we got a task done it's 4 4 4 p.m today what does 4 4 4 angel number mean what if it means like you're ruining your tortoise's life by bathing them signifies that you are in love and that your inner wisdom, oh, my inner wisdom is pointing me in the right direction. You know, it's really funny because I was literally just talking to Gav on Instagram about a Bucky Barnes fanfic on Wattpad and I get 444, you are in love. I mean, and my wisdom, my wisdom of bathing my child. So apparently the gods say I'm doing something right. Uh, but now I wanted to show you this book I got in the mail from a publisher, it's Forever Publishing. Um, I'm not really sure, but it is Maggie Moves On. Let's show you the cover. And of course, you already know, like the reason I like it is that dog. It honestly looks like a gray version of my mom's um, bully. But this comes out June 2022. That's this year. Hello, why did I think we were in 2020? Yikes. Uh, but what happens in here is this girl is a YouTuber that fixes houses up and he's a gardener. And then they fall in love. Oh my God. And she's stubborn and doesn't want to be in love. And he's like, oh, but you're going to be in love. So now we have Scarlet Witch and Chris Evans. And I'm going to go read it now. So bye. Hello. Hi. I actually put makeup on for a second day in a row. Who am I? We may never know. But I think I'm still wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I literally was wearing a whole different outfit and then I changed into this shirt because I didn't want to get like makeup on my other one and then I didn't change out before I came in and filmed this, so. Hello, I do want other clothing, just don't dabble in it. So, let's talk about books. I am a little over halfway into The Siren, which is the Patreon book club pick for this month. And I am really, really liking this. The thriller aspect is starting to like come out more. Well, the mystery aspect. It's not quite a thriller yet, but something I've noticed is when the mystery comes to like a crescendo, the thriller steps in in this author's books. So I'm thinking that's gonna come up next. 
Um, I'm about to go make something to eat and then I got a huge coffee from Dutch Rose because that's just where we're at today. And I'm doing sprints with Mel over on Patreon. So that's just kind of what the day's gonna look like. I think that's what I'm gonna do all day. I need to buy movie tickets to the Northmen, I think is what it's called, on Saturday. My partner really wants to go see that. So we're gonna go do that. And I think that's, that's about it. I need to set up something for the beginning of this vlog and get that going. But other than that, I think, I think that's all I gotta do, say. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the food aspect of things. And then we'll go from there. I did decide I am gonna film a separate bookshelf setup video for the bookshelf that's over there, the round one, because Lexi told me to, so obviously I have to listen to her. That's how it works. Um, but yeah, let's go, let's go be productive. Let's go have a great time. Let's live, let's laugh, let's love. And um, I'll see you on the other side, partner. Good morning, people. Um, Jacob, I just fed all three kids and now I'm putting together food. Um, but I think I'm gonna finish the siren today. I'm very excited about it because I'm over not finishing books be honest um and i didn't even read any fan fiction last night what about that i just read the siren so i'm about to page 250 now so i have like 150 left i got this i'm gonna finish it and then i'm gonna keep reading percy jackson i think um but i don't know i don't know what else i want to read last night though i did start because i like to have a different book on my kindle so i did start what is it called I can't remember. Oh, Guild. I started Guild. Yeah. Uh, and I did this one because, God, it's so humid in this house right now. <sighs> I hate it. Um, but I started this one because the cover's pretty. That's really it. And I'm actually liking it though. So that's nice. That's nice. It's just about this girl who is like King Midas's prisoner type thing, concubine prisoner thing and sh her skin's gold. Okay, sure. Uh, so, you know, I'm reading that, liking that so far, and um, yeah, I need to upload the plan with me and the haul that I did for Patreon, but other than that, I'm gonna watch the Real Housewives Orange County reunion today. That's what I'm actually gonna go watch right now. I'm excited because I love the tea. <laughs> all this laundry and I surely don't want to but I vacuumed you see the lines mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm watching this video now so I guess this will get me through this good god Jake you want to help <gasps> you do oh wow to flee from the 
Hello, good morning. Well, good afternoon, really. It's the afternoon. Um, Ginger is with us, so if you hear snorting and or uh, just cries for attention, you already know it's your girl. Um, but I finished a book last night and it was The Siren, so let's talk about her. First, before we talk about her, let's talk about better lighting. <laughs> Okay, not exactly better, but not worse, so a win. Um, this book was fantastic. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this. If you like books that have Hollywood in it, especially with like kind of the behind the scenes drama of Hollywood, I definitely think this would be one that you would enjoy. Um, I don't think telling people the kind of relationships that are in here is a spoiler but if you don't want to know anything about the book at all any like it is a twist that's revealed but i don't believe in identities being spoilers so if you do because i will say i can understand how it would be in this book the way that it's done but it's done in a really good way but if you want to be completely surprised i would say if you like taylor jenkins read but you want her book as a thriller here you go like go for it um, but skip ahead just a little bit until you don't see me holding this book up anymore. If you don't want like to know anything about it going in, totally get that. So this one, how I would pitch it to you, just using another book. And it's kind of that if you know, you know kind of thing. If you ever wanted to see the characters in Evelyn Hugo in a murder thriller plot, here you go. This is that. Yeah, I know there were in Evelyn Hugo but this is like an actual murder thriller thing and I think it was so great it also reminded me a little bit of John Tucker Must Die so I just really enjoyed this one I'm glad it was good because I love the Lion's Den but there were some weaker parts of it but I can so see that her writing is growing and the plot of this was so good and the characters were way more fleshed out than the other ones. The Lion's Den was like a really fun read but it felt kind of superficial in the characterization but this had a lot of characterization and it might be me just having like personal feelings about the characters because I just really like how it all ended and landed. It was super sad but <laughs> I I guess I like that, like give me a tragedy um, with a side of murder and I'm in. So I would definitely recommend this. I think it would be like a 4.5, um, but emotional wise, it's a five for sure. Uh, it is slow paced. It's very like the pacing and the unraveling of it reminds me of Leanne Moriarty, um, who wrote Big Little Lies, reminds me a lot more of her kind of style of mystery thriller tour it's technically still a thriller but it's not as like go 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 as people expect so if you expect that stop don't do not proceed uh or if you can just get away from wanting that like and just kind of know that it's going to be a slower situation i think it's a really great read and definitely worth it next up i am about to go see the new nick cage movie with my mom because we have say it with me taste and after that i'm gonna come home and do sprints with Mel because she's doing like a readathon weekend with her patrons and I have <laughs> weaseled my way in as I do and I'm buddy reading a book with her and Erin this weekend and that is A Shadow in the Emperor. I have a timer. I only have four minutes left on this SD card but any hooters. Uh, this one is the prequel to From Blood and Ash and I I don't have anything to say about The War of Two Queens because whatever. I, I don't care. I would love to continue on with the series. I just don't think that I'm going to because I cannot get past The Crown of Gilded Bones. And it is not for any, like everyone's like, oh, but Liv, you would really like it because it's more of a plot book than anything. Dog, got it. Heard in both ears and I internalized it and just go in and out like I usually do. But it, I don't care. Every time there's a scene, I'm just like, okay, sure. And then there's the same scene but different people, same, literally same information. I don't, listen, it's very repetitive. The Crown of Gilded Bones, what I have read, which is like the first quarter of the book, is incredibly repetitive and I'm tired of Poppy. <laughs> so let's do a new version of it because I have heard that these characters are just like Poppy and the man, uh, but 
different ones obviously so i loved from blood and ash kingdom of flesh and fire was my favorite of the two i love a duology but i'm hoping that this like i'm just gonna read this and get my fix up because i love jennifer l armentrott's writing i really do and i well i love her alien book and i, I apparently read white hot kiss I don't remember reading that but it's got gargoyles which reminds me of that one lady gargoyles <laughs> and so i want to keep going on with that series so i might do that eventually i just feel like the from blood and ash series the way that it's going it just isn't for me which is totally fine like it doesn't have to be but i love the covers and so we're gonna throw it back and we're gonna read this and because i spent an arm and a leg on this how much this was like 30 dollars or something um i i would say couldn't be me but it it <laughs> was me it's 31.99 i did get some pango books orders and i was gonna like do just a vlog reading pango books but then i realized i'm gonna do a haul because i've bought too many at this point but some beautiful soul was selling all the feels on there i think this is um an illuminate edition of it and it's like signed by my fellow Olivia and I love that. Also what I love is I'm safe with Olivia Dade books. While the heroines may annoy the hell out of me by projecting their insecurities, they'll never be named Olivia. I'm safe. I don't ever have to read my name in a book. Fantastic. The Unhoneymooners, one of my favorite romances. A tragedy in my life though because the main characters are named Olive and Ethan. Olivia, why is that a problem you ask? Well, me and my brother are named Olivia and Ethan. So that wasn't great. Uh, then I also got the Royals next door because you already knew this was gonna happen. You knew I was gonna buy this. It's here. And the last one I got is a YA that I'm pretty excited for. I just have to clean off. Um, it came with the Barnes & Noble sticker on it, which is totally fine, like not a big deal at all. I just need to clean off the residue because I popped that baby off, but I got small favors. And it's beautiful. I'm very excited to read it. Look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, yeah. But uh, my mother is beckoning me, which I think uh, means she's here. So I, I have to go. Bye. Hello, hi. Sorry if you can hear, well now you can hear Jake, but the ice maker in the background. Um, but I am sitting down, getting ready for sprints. And um, these are with Mel and I think Erin is joining because we're all reading these books together. So I have the book ready. And then I wanted to show y'all. I have this new thing that I just got from Jet Pins. It's a little faux leather pen holder. So I have the transparent tabs that I write my notes on there. I have a .1, 2, and 3 of the same marker that writes on that. And then I have a bunch of my tabs. I do have other tabs, but I want to get some kind of plastic card. I'm not really sure what yet. Just to hold my tabs so that I can assign them to each book. So like with this one, I don't know what colors. I might have to go get those tabs because I definitely want to use red, but I don't really know what else to use for this book because I want them all to match the cover. That's like my goal for uh, annotating now. Not like annotating wise, I want to actually write in the book, but um, on the sticky notes that are transparent, I want to do that more. But as far as tabs go, I just think it looks really cute when people match them to their covers. So I want to do it too, but I did just get done um, eating dinner and I filmed setting up my tbr bookshelf thing in the living room so that video is done when it's gonna go up the world might never know it'll be a very short video because it wasn't that long i kind of already planned out what i wanted to put on the shelves and where so it's not gonna be that in depth of a video a bit other than that uh that's it that's it other than that so um i'm gonna go get ready for the sprints i made a coffee 
So we're really, we're really ready. We're really ready to do this. So let's, let's go freaking do this. Hello, hi, it's Monday, so it's the end of the vlog, but it is also the Monday before the Wednesday that is starting spring, spring, Halloween, so I was like, might as well include it in the vlog. So uh, yeah, I also just didn't feel like updating <laughs> yesterday, but I will update now. I started Hook, Line, and Sinker, which is the Patreon book club pick for Mel and I's like, book joined book club. And uh, I'm on chapter six, and I don't care about this at all. I think that the first one was really good, and I really liked that. I liked the storyline, I liked the plot, I liked the characters. It was funny, it was cute, I liked the um, setting and everything. But this one is just like, it's giving nothing of joy to me at this current moment. I'm just not liking it as much as I liked the first one. I just think like, in the first one I highlighted so many things that I was like, oh my God, this is so adorable. And then here, and in this one, I can see where they're supposed to be adorable, but they're just cringy. Like I just, I don't like any of this. And usually, like the whole beginning is all them texting and I usually love that stuff. Could not care less, could not care less. So uh, that's not going well for me. And then what is the other 
book I am currently reading. Oh, A Shadow in the Ember. I didn't get any further than I did Friday, which was like a hundred pages into the book. Uh, it is literally copy and paste from Blood and Ash. So that's great when I'm in the mood for from Blood and Ash again. That'll be where I go. But right now I'm just not. I'm honestly really in the mood for like thrillers and horror and stuff, which is great because that's what this week is. Um, I just placed a Barnes Noble order uh, after being advised by the wonderful, beautiful, amazing Jordaline. And uh, I have two, no, three like super horror books that I'm very excited about that um, I'm gonna pick up later today. Hopefully they'll be ready. And I'm gonna read probably one of them, maybe two of them, because one of them is like 600 pages long. And I don't think that'll be very good for daily vlogging during a like four day readathon, but you know. Um, I also went to Barnes & Noble yesterday. It's going really well, the book buying man. Doing really well. We're starting it today, after I pick up my Barnes & Noble order. <laughs> um, but I picked up, uh, oh, actually, you know what? Technically, I didn't pay for this. My partner did because I paid for tacos. So still bought books today though. So uh, anyways, uh, I got Go Hex Yourself. Look at this freaking cover. Are you kidding me? It's adorable. Um, I don't think I'll be in the mood for romance because this book is kind of ruining that for me. But that's fine. Having a great time. And then I also got Sense and Second Degree Murder. Pride and Premeditation. I am looking at putting it on my TBR for uh, Spring Fling Halloween. I want to do one horror, which is a prompt, obviously, and then a thriller, and a middle grade, and then a YA. So I know that's four books in four days, but like, you know? So uh, I did start. I started this book. I don't remember what it's called. It's like this house, whatever house, something house. It's about this girl who her dad found out it was a serial killer, buried bodies in the house. She left and hasn't seen her mom, I think for like 12 years. And now her mom is about to pass away. So she's come back to the house and it's super spooky, strange, weird things are happening. She already saw like a shadow person in the basement which is where she's sleeping like a loon why would you do that couldn't be me wouldn't be me never gonna be me so that's where I'm at with this book I think I'm gonna just keep reading it today because it's really creepy and I'm liking it I wanted something that's like a thriller and spooky but not horror because I want to save that for the latter half latter half what latter days um the latter the other half of this week <laughs> starting on Wednesday oh my god um, but we did just get breakfast tacos and uh, Dutch Bros. So I'm gonna go eat that and drink that and organize this vlog onto my computer. And um, I guess we'll just like edit it throughout the day and we'll see where it goes. If you don't see me again, I'm just gonna do a, oh, we'll do a turtle emoji because there's not a tortoise, which I don't think is fair. We'll do a turtle emoji because Annabeth is mad at me right now. She's currently pouting because she had to come in from her outdoor enclosure into the indoor one in my office because I am a hover mom. But also it was like super stormy last night and raining lots. And even on the drive to Dutch Bros this morning, it's pretty rainy outside looking. And she just, listen, if it was rainy and hot and sunny, that's fine. But it's rainy and cold and there's no sun. So it's not fine, you know? We gotta have the, but she didn't wanna listen to me. So she just crawled into her little hut and she won't turn around. So we're not talking right now and it's fine. It's fine. It's very in theme with like this mother daughter going against each other in the book that I'm reading. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go do what I just said I was gonna go do. And you leave the turtle emoji down below and then we'll reconvene or we won't. And you start to sil like slowly hear the end screen music playing now. And this is, this is just where we leave each other. And I will see you Thursday with a daily vlog.